Hey guys, and welcome back to ARK Survival Evolved! Today is a glorious day of many things to show you because a patch just came out on top of it having been a while since I last showed you anything ARK based. And as you can see, this is my character here. I actually have flak armor now. It's dyed black and green as always because those are the tribe colors. Yes, indeed. Uh, let's see. Here we go. So I'm level 69 now. And if I go into my tribe manager, you can see that on top of my one friend, I actually have two more people in the tribe now. These are people I know in real life. And uh, we've been having a great time. So a lot has changed. And to start off with, if we come downstairs, you can see that I've added an addition to my house, which has a not working power generator, not working refrigerator, a fabricator, and uh, pretty much everything you need. And we've got a couple extra chests down here. And, uh, if I come outside, I will show you the new additions. There's quite a lot. It has been some time. So we have a new Brontosaurus. Its name is Fatfoot. I did not name it, for the record. Uh, and as you can see, you know, he's he's looking sexy as hell. If you come down here... I... that... Did, that's not what I wanted to do. We have Samwise Gamgee, or... I can't remember how to pronounce it. And Frodo Baggins, these are the two raptors of the newest tribe mate, neither of which he tamed himself, I might add. And I can't even get into his house. Here we go. So this is kind of like his temporary house, uh, until we have more room to let him build a little bit bigger. Uh, we have an extra stego, because someone let the stego die, I think. No, the stego's still alive. We just have two stegos now. This is, uh, my other friend's house. Pretty big area. And, uh, if we come over here... I will show you this house. This is my friend's house. Uh, you've seen it several times, but it's got it's gotten quite a lot bigger. Um, and if we come in here, normally there's electricity, but he hasn't been on in a couple of days. And this stuff's gonna start dying out in two days. Eh, I'm not really that concerned about it. So we have a lot of storage for eggs. And there's a guy in our base. Oh, never mind. Just Just a tribe member, that's all. And, uh, yeah, so that's basically that. And he's got a Spino and a T-Rex. We've been doing pretty good for ourselves. Uh, let's see, we have... I don't think... Did I ever show the new dinosaurs? I don't think I did, so, uh... Got a lot of catching up to do to show you all these new dinos. Let's put some health on him. Oh gosh, he has a thousand health now. This is official bodyguard number one. Uh, he's my official bodyguard. And he is a Dimorphodon. He looks pretty cool. Uh, so that's a Dimorphodon, everyone. I will show you the other new dinos shortly, hopefully. So inside here we have a new religious court cult forming. Uh, it's it's a cult of my own making. I saw this uh, level 75 uh, Fiomia walking around and I was like, I gotta tame it, it's black and green. Look at those ears. <laughs> and after taming it, it went up to like level 99 and I was like, damn, this thing's sexy. And then for some reason, I, I, I was going a little bit crazy, for reasons you'll find out soon. And so I decided that it would be the god of our tribe, the goddess of our tribe, because it's a female. And she has a bunch of disciples with her, and I'm gonna build her a temple eventually. And it's gonna be great, it's kind of like a little fun side project. Uh, pretty much nothing else new to show, other than these dino troughs. Which, uh, allow you to feed large areas of dinos automatically, it's pretty cool. I should probably pick this up. I mean, eggs are always useful. Okay, so now that I've shown that, let's show you the biggest addition to our base recently. If I can come over here, get on my bloodwing. You may be able to see it in the background. This is a huge expansion of our base that I basically have been working on for the past week or so. Uh, and I did most of it by myself, because my tribe mates were busy taming tons of raptors and things. So, I, I did have a little help though, so it wasn't all by myself. But as you can see, it's, it's quite a massive area, and this is, this is just because I want to have enough room to continually be doing stuff. And as you can see, the wall is not finished over here. That's because, while building this, this was already here, this one layer of wall, this douchebag came up here and placed it, and then he never logged on again. So, uh, we're just waiting to be able to demolish it, really. And that is that. So we're looking pretty solid here. Now what I want to do is... 
show you some of the other stuff that's new. So let's come over here and hopefully not get murdered by some sort of carnivore. If I can land here without some server lag killing me. Alrighty, so there are a few new items today. Literally just a few minutes ago, my recording got delayed because of this. This is the canteen and the metal sickle. So the canteen works a little bit differently than other types of things. It, uh, it fills up with 300 water, and you can use it three different times. Uh, I can't use it right now, because I already drank. But, you can use it three times. And, uh, that's pretty cool, and it looks cool. It takes, uh, a fabricator and stuff, and you can see what it looks like. I mean, it looks pretty neat. And, uh, the next tool, which is a little more important, is the metal sickle. Now, this is, was added to the game by popular demand. People were tired of waiting for the dinosaurs that would add... Oh wait, this is a good opportunity. Okay guys, this is one of the new dinos. It is a Mega Nera, which is a giant dragonfly, if I can avoid the fucking Dilo while I show you. It's pretty cool, and it will attack in large groups if you piss it off. Die. How dare you attack me, you fool! Alright. So yeah, this is the dragonfly. It looks pretty cool. It's a little hard to show, because it moves a lot, but... Oh, is he... Ow! Oh yeah, they poison you, which makes your stamina decrease. Uh, they don't they don't really do a lot of damage. Alright, I got multiple of them attacking me. <laughs> Alright, they're dead. It's a good opportunity to look at a dead body. That's a Dilophosaurus. Here we go. So, this is what they look like, dead. Um, you can kind of see their wingspan here. They aren't tameable. If I, uh... And I can get chitin from them. And quite a lot of it, too. Alright, uh, let's see. So, here's the sickle. Now I can actually show you what it's meant to do. So, if we come up to a plant here, we start beating up on it, you can see we get fiber, and quite a fair amount. That's all you should get, and, uh, it's pretty good. So if we start swinging here, it's kind of like hitting a tree with the, the graphics. I'm sure they'll mess with it later, considering this is something that was unplanned and that they added kind of spur of the moment, but... As you can see, it hasn't taken long at all to get, you know, almost 100 fiber, which really isn't that amazing. It's pretty good. It certainly is worth it. But I think the main thing that's really great about this is you don't have to spam E anymore. You can just hold down that left click and gather lots of fiber, which is great. And it, it's a good holdover without being too strong until the Gigantopithecus comes out. So another thing I want to show you uh, is a new weapon if the server would allow me to show you. This is the crossbow! And it's crossbow-licious. Uh, you can use it underwater, and that's really its main use. But you can also use it on land, and it's pretty sweet. So let's kill this Dilophosaurus. I might be able to one-hit this thing. I missed. So that's... Uh, it was on purpose. There we go. Okay, apparently he is not aware that he is being shot. There we go. Now he's aware! There we go. So, you can, it takes about three hits to kill a Dilo. It takes like eight shots to bring down a trike. It's not that good for killing. I wouldn't recommend it for that. But it's good for tranking things. Uh, and that's pretty cool. So there's one thing new that I want to show you that I actually can't show you because I'm not a high enough level. Down here at level 70 is the compound bow and metal arrows they added recently. Uh, and sadly, again, I can't show you because I'm not level 70. It takes forever to level up past 67 on this server, and I'm not really certain why. So I've got a few more things to show you. Uh, I don't know if I've shown you, but we did tame a Plesio. Jeez. Look, th this is Cock and Balls. That's the name of their tribe. The House of Cock and Balls, I should correct myself. They haven't been on in a little while, I, but I think they got on recently or something. But, uh, yeah. There's, they have a lot of dinosaurs. That's <laughs> what I've tried to say. So we're gonna head down to the beach. Let's do this. And they added a new type of dinosaur. It's not actually a dinosaur, but that's just what I'm calling it for the sake of it. Uh, it's called a trilobite. Hopefully we'll be able to find one. We're gonna do so on the back of an ichthyo, or maybe a plesio. I haven't really decided. Plesios are... Our plesios named Slark, 
And assuming he hasn't died in the night, I should be able to show you. I, I doubt he is. He's protected by a, another new structure we built. We've been very busy in the past two weeks since I made a video. And uh, that's my bad, guys. That's my bad. I should have been documenting this shit, but I got lazy. There's a lot of spinos out today. That's two. Don't you ra rarely see that. Okay. Oh. Oh my goodness gracious. Wow. Yeah, don't, don't mind that. That was just like zero frames per second. Nothing. Nothing new. Yeah, I'm getting some really bad server lag. Nothing I can do about that, guys. Um, but luckily it's very temporary. And honestly, it doesn't bother me that much. Other than when I'm recording. So. <laughs> okay. So, according to the chat, and I already kind of knew this, but... You get chitin and silica pearls off killing these trilobites. And, uh... Well, I was going to... Oh, those are just coals. Okay. <laughs> I thought those were the new things. Just maybe there are more coals now. Seems like there are more... More coals. Seems like there are... Oh! Nope, that's a coal too. I keep thinking it's the new thing, because I'm looking for that spiral shape <laughs> from far away. I guess it just looks like that. Alrighty. Let's head to the beach. So I'm actually getting pretty low on hunger, but there's not much I can do about that. Alright, so this is Herbivore Island. Uh, I don't think we've shown this before. Maybe a little bit. Um, yeah, Herbivore Island. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, pretty safe to land birds on it, and that's why we built our pen here. Um, and it has a deeper ocean area. As you can see, this is our pen. We have... <laughs> my friend, one day when I wasn't online, tamed himself 11, 107 Megalodon, and tamed me two really shitty ones, and said, Pick one! And then I decided they would both be mine, and I haven't named them yet. This is Bloodseeker, my Ichthyosaur. And down here, melded into the ground, is Slark. Slark is level 50. Oh, he leveled up to 54. Nice. So he's level 54. We're gonna go looking for trilobites on him, because honestly, no threat in the ocean is a threat to him. I don't even... I've never fought another plesiosaur with him. Are you serious right now? Hey! Camping outside the gates is <laughs> very cool, guys. Come on. Two megalodons? Alright. I'm a little nervous, because if they get in here, then we could have issues. Is he on neutral? Yeah, he's on neutral. Alright, let's let's try and turn big boy here around. There's not a lot of room for a giant plesiosaur, admittedly. But we try to make it work. Oh, shit. Oh, god. Can I attack them? I can't tell. <laughs> yeah, they're like right outside the gate. Stop attacking my gate. Leave me alone! Slark! Slark, run! There's three of them and I'm scared. Uh, let's level up melee damage. I know I should be leveling stamina. Actually, I gotta get back there. And stop them. Alright, that was easy. Holy shit, that was easy. <laughs> Okay, so maybe I was underestimating the power of the Plesio. Uh, we haven't really tested her in combat much, so that's why I was nervous. There's like a shit ton of Megalodons out today. What the hell? Why are there so many? <laughs> Stop going in there, you bastards. No, Bloodseeker. I can't move. Get out of the way! Damn it. I sense impending deaths. And now I'm stuck. Oh, this is just... This is just a nightmare. Alright. I'm gonna leave Slark here and go see if I can't salvage things. So what the hell's going on in here? Did they kill the shark that came in here? Yeah, it's dead. Okay. Well, things are a little... <laughs> oh gosh. Alright, let's move, let's move the big boys back inside the cage, okay. We look alright here, we look alright, so I'm gonna 
close up shop here. I, there's a lot more megalodons in the water today than there normally is, possibly because they've been messing with spawns. So good luck finding a trilobite is kind of the impression I get. Uh, and I've decided not to take good old Slark, because he's a bit slow. But he is a lot of fun, and you got to see him in combat a little bit, so that's cool. And you can see the way he moves. He just looks so majestic. So beautiful. Oh, the majesty of nature is too much for me. Let me in. I gotta swim upwards and jab my face into the walls and stuff. Alright, that'll do. <laughs> yep, it's kind of a process getting them in there. Alrighty, we're gonna grab Bloodseeker here. The dead Megalodon. No, no, no! God damn it. Let me through, I say. Right, I'm gonna have to get off to close the gates. Here we go. It's a little unwieldy dealing with underwater gates and stuff, but uh, it works normally. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna go try and find ourselves a trilobite. There's an Ichthyo. Now, uh, I saw someone in chat talking about them being... Uh, shallow dwellers, which kind of makes sense, so... I'm gonna look for some shallows here, and there's some shallows over here. There's a coal. There's a coal, coal, coal. Can I find one of them new things? There are more coals in the ocean. A lot more. Uh, I mean, it's still pretty dead in the ocean, but at least it's a little more filled. Okay, we have another ichthyo over here. Can we find a trilobite? Find out in a few days, maybe. While I search... Alright, I will jump cut until I find one. Okay, guys, I found them. I was looking in the wrong place like a dummy. <laughs> uh, I kind of forgot uh, what they were. I, I was confusing trilobites with something else. And that's my bad, but these are trilobites! Look at them, they're like little crabs on the bottom floor, so I've probably passed a bunch of them. But they're they're really cool looking. I feel like they, they, they make the ocean feel a little more real, just like you know, something different, because everything else has been, like, swimming. And these guys are pretty cool. Let's kill them. <laughs> die. Die. There we go, and we got the dossier. Ow. So they're not too hard to kill, and look at that. You get oil, and chitin, and, uh, probably silica pearls, but it might be a rare drop. Die, please. Die, please. I'm trying to prove a point here. Why would you die? I can't even see. Alrighty. Checking our surroundings for megalodons. Okay, now that we've scared off all the the poor trilobites just trying to live their life. I'm sure a lot of them are like hiding under these reeves where you can't even see them. But anyway, that's trilobites. Uh, so I will jump cut when I'm back at base. Okay guys, so I took a look at how long I had been recording and it's, uh, it's a long time. So I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Tune in at the max a week, hopefully less, for more ARC, and uh, I'll see you guys then. Buh bye bye